Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Farm Sim 22 on the Angel Mountain map. I'm going to slow down, I guess. I was going to pass on the right, but I'll try to avoid <laughs> doing that for a little bit. All right, last episode, what did we do? We got some things done, but this episode we're going to do field work. And I think we're going to do, we may cut the grass around field 10. We've been kind of working in that area quite a bit. We still need to put up the apiaries or the beehives all around field 10, but I wanted to cut the grass up there first. Um, I've got dairy cows here, the mature dairy cows. I have just before hit and record, I brought over a load of baby beef cows and a load of baby dairy cows. This is a load of mature dairy cows. We'll get these guys loaded up. We have lots of cows now in both cow barns, but we have lots and lots of room for many, many more. But we'll keep bringing animals for quite a while. Let's get these guys dropped off, then we'll go do chickens, pay off 20 grand of our debt, and then we'll get on the field work that needs to be done. We've got two fields. Uh, one's going to need to be plowed, and then one is ready for seed these guys in here yeah there's the mature cows we will get some milk out of these soon in fact we should probably check animals here go ahead and close the doors uh, we'll park the trailer and then we'll check animals and just see what the story is on milk and food Manure, I think our little manure pit has room for a lot more. It's got a fair amount in there. We'll probably scoop that out with a wheel loader. We could autofill it just by pulling up next to it, but we'll probably scoop it out just for the immersion of it. Get this guy unhooked. Um, yeah, I guess I can hook up. There's our sheep. We're starting to get some wool building up. It looks like there's plenty of room for more pallets, so we'll hold off on that. We don't have a place to take it just yet. We don't have a spinnery on the list. All right, that's hooked up. Let's take a look at animals real quick. And just see, uh, these are the beef cows. We've got some slurry. Straw looks okay. Food looks okay. And then sheep. Food looks... Uh, well, looks like we may need to bring some grass over. Hmm. We could probably do that right now. In fact, we could take care of all this stuff right now, too. Let's top off all of the animal pens. And dairy, this guy needs TMR. I think we have some in storage, and we've got the ability to make a whole bunch more. But yeah, let's, let's uh, top all of these off while we're thinking about it. They're not in bad shape. But we can fill them all up while we're thinking about it. Let's grab stuff out of here. Let's do... Village grass. Let's do grass for the sheep since that came up first. We don't need a full load here. And then this particular trailer barely fits <laughs> under where we need to dump it. I should get a smaller trailer for this, this particular job. We'll see if we can weasel our way up in here. We barely fit, and this trailer does have a way to unload out the back without tipping. Let's see if we can try it. I'm just going to hit the U key to change the dumping location, and then let's see what we get. Okay, now that's going to tilt. Let me try one more time. U. There we go. That'll just push out the back. Uh, looks like it's still got a little bit of a tilt issue there. Oh, it's the hatch in the back. I think that's topped off. Uh, whoops, whoops, looks like we hit the wool pallet. Pop this back in and we'll grab some straw for TMR or hay for the beef cows. Hmm. 
While we're waiting for that to unload, let's go pay our 20 grand. We've been paying off a little bit of debt every episode. And we're down to six and a quarter million. If you look up in the top right, you'll see we our bank balance right now is at 5.2 million. Uh, between episodes, I have been raising cash. I emptied out five of our eight greenhouses. Uh, some of that produce went into factories, but a lot of it I went and sold. Some of it I stored up for 10 million liter objectives. Uh, but we have three full greenhouses that we could start selling stuff out of. Um, I've got hay here. Let's swing around. We feed the beef cows hay because we can still get 100% product, 100 productivity with just hay. Now they're taking a fair amount. This is probably worth doing. Oh man, they're taking way more than I thought. They're going to take all of this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was good timing. Now we need TMR and straw. But yeah, also sold some oxygen and hydrogen, a little bit of diesel, glass jars, all the normal stuff that we usually sell. And yeah, that's hay. There's straw. We can do that since that's next. I think straw is right out here somewhere. I think there's as much of this needed. We can take the leftover straw over to the composter. Make compost out of it. We're going to have tons of straw. In fact, we have a bunch of straw sitting in one of our field silos. Oh, thought I missed the trigger there. Let's just drive the rest of this over to the composter real quick. These greenhouses up here on the right, these are the ones I've kind of emptied out. I may have left one or two products in there. And then the ones over there on the left we need to get to. Not urgent. We can store two million liters in each one. Two million liters of each product, too, in each one, I should say. Whoops, we need to cut around the corner here. Make a little bit more compost out of this straw. We're going to have many, many, many tens of millions of liters of straw to deal with. We're to process into compost, so we'll load that into our greenhouses. For that money we've raised, that 5.2 million up there, we have plenty of things we want to buy. Once we get done with all the work we want to do around field 10, we want to get that grass cut and then we want to plant trees over in that area, make it a forestry area. Uh, we want to put down the apiaries around field 10. Then I think we're done in that area for a good long time. Then we want to go get a coal power plant going and get an apartment building going that we can start hiring workers for some of the businesses that require those. So we'll, we're kind of working towards that. That's going to take some cash. We need to buy. There's a big old coal mine way out. Um, way out in the top right corner of the map, kind of to the right of field 51 and field 50. We're going to, there's actually two plots there next to 50 and 51. Uh, we need to just buy one of those next to the coal deposit. And then um, build a coal power plant. That'll get us electricity going. And then down way over, kind of on the left side of the map, towards the middle, halfway down. 
by where we're doing all the oil stuff, the oil island, we want to put an apartment building there. So that'll take some cash, and then eventually we want to get, <laughs> and I've been talking about it since probably episode two, we want to get fields 33 and 34 down in the bottom right of the map. So that's all going to take many millions of dollars, so we're getting there. Okay, last thing we want is TMR out of here. Let's find it. I think there's some we put in here. Did I pass it already? Here it is, total mixed ration. We'll take it out of... Well, you know what we could do? Let's use our little TMR mixer and crack open our silage bunker. And let's make some of this. It's been a while since I made it, so I might be out of practice here. Our silage bunker, unfortunately, there was a glitch, and I think we lost some. Some of it must have fallen through the map here. That's a bummer. But we'll be able to make tons of it. Let's take off all this. I don't know if there's... Um, can I? Can I take this off? Maybe not. Maybe you can only take off a little bit. Alright, that's fine. Open our TMR mixer. I can't remember if we were able to get this on sale or not. I think we were. Gonna have to bring up that controls because it's been a while. The mixer on, boom. Uh, where's my leaders there? I have a bunch of this. Yeah, I'm totally out of practice on <laughs> mixing TMR. I'll do a whole bunch off camera, I'm sure, because we're going to want to process all of this stuff. And we need to save 10 million liters above and beyond what we're going to use for the animals. Eight silage comes in. Let's keep going, fellas. Bring the green, and then I kind of want to mostly use the straw. Think of all the products that we're going to produce. We're probably going to have the most straw on hand. We have all those crops that produce straw. We need 10 million liters of each saved for our objectives. Plus, we need, you know, a bunch of grain for our chickens. We need grain for bread. Bread for sandwiches. It's just... I think we're going to have an abundance of straw above everything else. Are you not filling up? What's going on here? There we go. Straw coming in. Um, we're only halfway full, so let's grab more straw. Take this up to maybe 70% of the whole tank being full. Kind of looking at the bottom right of the screen here next to the speedometer. Gonna take this up to 70. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, 68. 71, that'll do. A bit more silage. Silage is probably the most work out of all the ingredients. That's probably enough of that. Oh man, hopefully we can get in the green. If not, we'll dump this out as um, forage. We need 10 million liters of that, too, so. Okay, 87%, 89. Yeah, we might have a bad batch here. Yeah, it looks like we're, we have a bad batch. Too much, um, too much straw. Get the last little bit of this tank full? Apparently not. Let's dump this. We'll just dump this in the arm silo here. We'll try another batch. This doesn't hurt anything. We need to produce a bunch of this forage. 
Uh, in fact, I could probably get away with just dumping a little. Yeah, forage. Let's dump out till we get to 80% full. Boom. Oh, I think we can throw some more hay in here and we'll be fine. I could be wrong. Are we going to get in the green? Let's draw. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be fine. Alright, that's probably more than we even need. Let's go drop this off. This is for the dairy cows. <gasps> What's the matter? Look at that, I messed up. Silage is too low. We're going to have to dump a little. <laughs> and I mentioned I was out of practice. Yeah, we ended up dipping into the red. That's all right. We'll get the hang of it. Like I said, we can use the forage. We need 10 million liters of it. Dump out a little bit of this and then grab some silage. Let's do another batch. Let's grab, I don't know, 30%, about 25% on this, 25% full of A. Good. further into the green. Got up to 50%. That's enough. And now as much straw as we can take without hurting our ratios here. Oh, oh. Okay, that looks like that's enough. Uh, let's dump this while it's good. It's maximum straw. We do have more room in the tank, but I don't want to mess the ratio up. Looks like they can take more. Let's keep going. This time we'll start with 30. 
We'll take it up to 30% full on hay, 60% on silage, and then see where we end up. Good enough. Okay, good enough on that one. Keeping an eye on the ratios over there and the health, the little pop up the left side of the screen. I'd like to get as much straw as we can without going over. Ooh, good enough. Barely, well, barely made it. Not bad, 84% full. Dairy cows are picking down. All right, one more load, then I'll do the rest off camera, maybe. Pushing it. Over 21,000 liters. Check out the animal display again. Dairy cows, EMR, we're full up, awesome. Let's, um, we can leave this guy here actually with this TMR in here and switch over to, uh, we gotta go do our chickens, right? Let me get near the main farm here. And pop out. Yeah, let's do our chicken coops. Uh, while we're walking over here, we might get a glimpse at what we have in storage. 
Nails and steel are looking good. Over 3 million. Snacks and sh or sacks and sugar are close to 3 million. And you can see all the other things, all the other products we've taken. You can see those ones at the bottom. Coconut, hibiscus, dried cherries. Those are all ones I probably did in between episodes. Just starting to get some of the produce into storage as well. Here's all our liquids. Got a long way to go yet with hydrogen and oxygen and diesel. Really long way to go with like slurry and then glue is probably going to be the last one we complete on the liquids. That's going to take a very, very long time for us to get 10 million liters of glue. <laughs> it's super slow to produce, but uh, we'll get there. All right, chickens. Here we go. We've been doing, what was it again? Max on the little ones, max on the mature ones, and max on the roosters, I think. Let's select you and make sure we go max. These are the cheap ones. Buy these. Yep. And these mature ones, same thing. 60. Buy them. Yep. And then roosters just for fun. We do the max. Oh, what is the max? Or no, we've been just doing five of these, I think. Yeah. Five each time just for the heck of it. Okay, that is that. We've got 860 chickens out of a possible... We have room for 2,000. We'll probably stop at like 1,800. Um, we'll see once these guys start reproducing in that, how much headroom we need to leave. And then I guess we can sell these, right, somehow? Yeah, eventually we'll sell them once, um, once we start filling up the coop. And then we've got one more chicken coop to take care of. Let's go on the map, kind of teleport over there. It is... Right there. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, we can start with the roosters since five is already selected here. Buy the five roosters. And we'll go to these chicken, do the max. Those are the little ones. And then the big ones. Done. And how are you guys doing on food? Uh, let's take a look. Chickens, they look like they're okay. Yep, yep, yep. They look like they're okay. All right, fields. Field work, field work. Let's take a look. We need... 28 here is ready for planting. And that is going to be oats. Field 21, this is bigger. This has clover on it. We want to plow that over and put corn. So we need to get the plow. I think I may have moved the plow over here. That's going to take forever because it's a huge field. And the plow moves slow. So let's do that first. Let's find the plow. If we can see it as we're tabbing through. I think I may have brought it over there. Here it is. Uh, we want this guy to start from the far end. And I think I might have a horse play course for this. Let's see. Um, this is field 21. Let's see if we can load up a course. Field 21. No, I don't have a course for this yet. Doesn't look like. Just have harvest. Um, that's kind of surprising. Let's see. Although it may have been clover when we bought it. And clover replants itself. Um, I just want to double check that. Yeah, it's definitely field 21. So let's do, we're going to have to do a new course play course. Move this guy kind of out of the way. Away from the field. And let's do it. We want create job. First play field work. Uh, target position over here. Field here. Open the generator. Up down. Manual row direction. Okay, we'll see how this generates. Generate field work course. Uh, what do we get? Start, finish, going side to side, going the long way. That's just exactly what I want. 
And we should be clear. I think we're clear trees here and clear trees here. This plow makes super duper wide turns. Um, but I think that's good. What we have here. So let's close the course play generator. And let's save this course. Um, we didn't. Yeah, let's save this course. Field 21. Um, mulch and plow. One mulch and plow. Okay. And let's turn on course play and see if this guy does what we want him to do. Uh, it's not going to do what we want him to do if we say nearest waypoint. We want him to go to the first waypoint. Keep an eye on this guy and just make sure he's off on the right track. Right now it says clover. I think we get a free fertilization state out of this. If we look, it's showing like it's already fertilized. I think we got that as a benefit of just having clover on the field. I think that automatically regrows and you get the first fertilization stage for free. I guess we can come back to this. Um, the next thing we need is a planter for corn. Let's see if I have that hooked up anywhere. There's a cedar there. That's not the one we need. I think I have it hooked up. Um, we are not gonna fertilize before the planting, I don't think. Where is it? I'm not seeing my planter. Probably tabbed right through it. Um, it's not here. Further up. It is not here, not here, not here. I think it is over this way. We're gonna just need to get a tractor over there. I apologize for all this tabbing through vehicles. Let's grab. Oh, I actually need it down here. Where is that thing? Let's grab this guy. Get our JCB, yeah. I think I may have taken it to the wrong place. I think it's up there. Oh, uh, no, we need the regular cedar down here. We're going to plant... Um, We need to plant oats down here. We just need this guy. Thinking about planting corn, but we need that field plot before we can get to it. That's field 21. This guy should be fine, although he doesn't have any seed. I think we can solve that problem. We have some seed way across the map. Let's go get it. Let's take the truck. Yeah, a long time ago we had a field that... Um, I think was already fertilized or already seeded and I was trying to put like an extra layer of fertilizer down so I got rid of all the or emptied the cedar and dumped the seed or the fertilizer off to the side and so we have a bunch of pallets of it sitting out there I think that's what we might need so we'll drop off this truck or this trailer Get the curtain side trailer and then go get those pallets of can't remember if that's I think it's fertilizer. Pretty morning here on Angel Mountain. Not too much traffic. I also loaded some coal between episodes. So Mammoth Mill is loaded with coal. 
and started loading our new dairy with coal. That thing can hold a million liters. I think we've got about maybe 200,000 in there. It's not urgent. Our dairy's not moving real fast because we're not producing a lot of milk yet. Okay, I want to disconnect my trailer and hook up to the curtain side here. Close this guy up. And we have fertilizer kind of right by the market. So we're going to hang a left, go quite a ways, and then hang a right. Get to the market. Tend to sell a lot of produce over by the market. And I think that's where it is that we need. Alright, I think what we're looking for is going to be coming up here on the side of the road on the left. There it is. I think that's what we need. Let's grab this stuff up. Oh, is this trailer not going to pick it up for me? Let's see if we can use our superhuman strength to do it. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And grab the truck by accident there. And what is this stuff? Uh, I'm not sure what this even is. Solid fertilizer. Hmm. Not sure if that's what we need or not, actually. This might not be the stuff we need, but we'll take it over there. If we need to go get um, seed, then we'll go do it. Let's see. Whoops, I need to unstrap these guys. Let's see what we actually need in here. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Fertilizer. And we're gonna plant oats, we said, right? Um. That is oats, right? Double check. I think that's oats. Yep, yep, that's oats. How about pop these guys down near the cedar?
those all loaded in. Yeah, there's a point where I wanted to seed and not put down fertilizer, and I thought I could do it with this seeder. And there might be a way of doing it, but I could not figure it out. So I forgot to reload it back up. We just used course play or something, and it automatically supplied the uh, fertilizer back in, I think. But we may as well get rid of these and just keep them in here. We'll still have course play do the um, refilling. Okay, good, good, good. Now we can get to business. We want to start at the far end of the field and work our way back up towards this field silo. Tractor's in good shape. It's been power washed. It's got fuel. Its maintenance looks good. We just need to see if we have a course play course for this one. And we're on field 28 this time. We should have a course for that. Let's see. I'm going to clear current course if there's one in here. It doesn't look like there is. Field 28. We don't. We have a... Har oh, wait. Harvest grain. Harvest grain would... Probably do it. Hmm. What's up? Uh, I'm not sure they're working with. We may need to <clears throat> do another one. Let's create a new course for that field. Um, first play field work. And this time we're way up here. So target position. Here, field position, I think, anywhere on that field. Open the generator. Generate course. Let's see what we got. That's what we want. Start far away and end up near the field silo. That's what I like. And let's save this. be field 28 feed cedar um boy I wonder if we use different cedars and stuff it's gonna be a little tricky but I will worry about that at some later date okay so we've got a course play course let's get this guy going on that Go first waypoint field 28 cedar and we'll let that guy do its thing. Hopefully he's going to take a left here. <laughs> he's heading right. There he goes. While that's going, oh man, where are you going to go? We'll come back. Let's go see if the plow's doing his thing. The plowing and the mulching. Should be fine. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. He's got two rows done. He's got a whole lot, a whole lot left to go. Um, let's see if this still shows as fertilized. I think it should. That is... Ooh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. So we still have the first stage of fertilization over there. That's good. And then the planter that we want, that I was looking for before... I think it's, I think it's sitting over here somewhere. That's it right there. That's going to plant our corn, but that's going to be a while. That's going to be a while. We'll let this plowing go on for quite a ways. Okay, let's check in on our cedar. This guy's getting started with oats. Oats are going to be important for cereal. When we put down the cereal factory, I think the main grain that uses is oats. So oats are pretty versatile. We can make flour out of these too. So that's all going good. Uh, what's left? Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. And then next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to get back to working on field 10 over here. Boom. We need to cut all this grass down. We cleared all the trees, cleared all the stumps. Um, I've got a tractor here with our forestry mulcher. 
hanging out just in case we run into some more stumps when we cut all this grass. We're going to cut all that grass all the way around field 10 and next to the kind of river here. We got a field silo sitting there that we'll take all the grass into. So we got to collect that up at the forge wagon. And then we need to get our tree planter. I think we have, I think we have one out here actually. I think we bought another one for planting trees. I think we have two, one for our poplar, which is taking forever to grow. And I think we have one for trees. And so we'll just plant stone pines up through here. Boom, boom, boom. I guess we'll do it up here too. We'll think about it, at least down here. And then we're going to use that, these trees to feed the sawmill that we have down here in the kind of the oil island. But we might, we have a bunch of fields up here. We might use this little pocket of land for, for a business if it makes sense. Maybe we could process something off of these fields. So maybe we'll hold off on planting trees there. This is probably enough to get us going. All this, all this timber and all this wood production, everything coming out of the sawmill is mainly going to be used to create um, charcoal out of wood chips and pencils out of the planks. So this doesn't need to be real high volume. But yeah, maybe we just start down here. Anyway, we'll get to cutting the grass. That's the first step. We'll do that next episode. And then, um, like I said, this is the next plot of land we're going to buy. It's up here. I think it's going to be 79 a little more than half a million dollars. It's got a bunch of coal on it. It actually has some trees embedded in the coal. We'll have to decide how we want to handle that. I just take do it with a chainsaw or if we bring over the tree harvester to clear that. And then I'm not sure when we can clear it. Um, if we have to clear out the coal first or we'll see. That's a problem we'll have to deal with later. And then down here by Oil Island, I think there's room in this land plot 23, which we already own. I think there's room to put an apartment building here. Um, that needs power, electricity that we're going to generate from a new coal plant, which is going to sit over here somewhere. Coal power plant. So we need to buy that. I think that's pretty expensive too. So we'll mine coal from that deposit, put it in the coal power plant. That gets us electricity. And then back here, the apartment we place down needs electricity. It needs gold or silver. Um, and we have gold bars being produced right here in our wash plants, kind of close by. And then it also needs, I think, carrots or cabbage or something, the apartment building. And then that will produce workers for us. And then we can start putting down some of the businesses that actually require workers. I um, mean, we'll see what that's all about. I don't know how we transport them. If we just do like use the production revamp mod and go into the production line and say distribute like for wood chips instead of storing, maybe when we get to producing people, we just say distribute or something instead of storing, but that's the road we're on. But yeah, we'll come back next episode and get to cutting that grass for now. This is glider cat saying, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Farm Sim 22 Angel Mountain Map 16 times. We're trying to save up 10 million liters of every product on the map and every product included in all the mods. And there's a lot of mods we're dropping in. These are all Old Man 102 mods. And there's links in the description to find all that stuff. And then we also want to own all the land and pay off our debt. So we got our work cut out for us, but we're off to a pretty darn good start. We got a lot of cash in the bank, so soon we'll have more fields. But yeah, that's it for now. I will see you all in the next episode.